this just goes to show these people are built different. The level of intensity and physical dominance it takes to play a sport at this level, at the consistency that they play at, is absolutely incredible. And I mean, like, that just also shows the mental fortitude that Giannis Antetokounmpo plays with because there are some players that may have sat back and said, you know what, I'm in too much pain. I can't do this. And that's just not the type of person that he is. He's not going to let his team fall. He's not going to let them, you know, crumble or fold under pressure. And if he's willing to put it all out there for his team, I think that's why I'm so hard on Milwaukee's supporting cast because it's like he's basically playing on one leg. You can see him grab his knee. You can see him take a little bit of extra time in between some plays. Um, obviously, he already takes long enough time at the free throw line that the NBA needs to review because we're talking 12, 13 seconds at a clip per free throw. Uh, it's a little much. But yes, no, Giannis deserves a lot of credit. He deserves a, a lot of praise, especially from the Milwaukee community. He's giving everything he has to this franchise that it's showing. And, you know, there are a lot of athletes out there, no matter the sport, that are that play through injuries. We know Kobe played... Uh, through multiple dislocated fingers, um, I believe there was one. There was one game where Kobe had to play basically with his left hand. Uh, we know that certain players play with slip discs, you know, torn ligaments, like Joel Embiid did this postseason with a meniscus tear, and so on and so forth. But when when you're putting out forty points in an NBA Finals game after an injury like that you have to just literally give it up to the man because he, he is just playing basketball at such an incredible pace. And I think that that needs to be respected and that needs to be praised because we're watching history. Like he basically could have been out the entire series, if not maybe into next season. Instead, he's dominating in the NBA finals, 63, 62 points in two games in the NBA finals. Absolutely crazy. It's wild because it just the only thing that I could really say that he's kind of really struggling through these first two games is just his overall endurance. Like you could see, like when there's a break in the action after a foul takes place or a timeout, you know, he has his hands on his knees. He's just trying to get as much air as possible. It's just because he's fatigued. He's putting everything on the line to try to get this series for Milwaukee. And it just it kind of sucks that this effort is I won't say being wasted, it's just he's putting so much pressure and so much weight on his back, and the fact that his teammates are just not stepping up to the level that they need to be at it, it just what else more do you want from the guy? You know he's putting his body on his line every single night just like everybody else is, but the fact that he was able to come back from that knee injury so quickly. And to be able to be able to establish dominance down low against solid players like DeAndre Ayton, that's just amazing to me. So I got to give Giannis a lot of credit. He, he he's one of the grittiest players that this league has to offer. Granted, you know he does kind of struggle from the free throw line. His game is a little bit limited to the fact that he's not like a knockdown jump shooter, but Man, when he gets down into that paint is a nightmare scenario for defenders going up against him. And the fact that he's still able to be this effective while somewhat being hindered by that knee and his endurance to a certain extent is he labors every now and then. It's just phenomenal to watch. And I hope that he's able to continue this level of play going into games three and four. And I fully expect him to. It's just, you know, I know a lot of people may give Giannis a little bit of criticism here and there just because, you know, the last couple of years, Milwaukee has fell short. You know, Milwaukee has been one of the best teams that the NBA has had the last two seasons before this year. And their best playoff performance was to only get to the Easter Conference Finals and they ended up losing to to Toronto and they got bounced out of the second round in the bubble last year. And even with that criticism and some of it may be warranted to a certain extent, Giannis has really gotten this team together and has propelled this team to the position that they're in right now. And the fact that Milwaukee's in the finals, I would say the majority of the credit definitely goes to Giannis for being able to do what he does on a nightly bait on a nightly basis. Not only is he one of the best defensive players that the league has to offer, 
he's one of the best offensive threats as well as far as down low goes and you know i do have to give a lot of respect and admiration to Giannis in that sense just because it's absolutely wild that he's playing this well after what we kind of thought could have been a potentially devastating knee injury and the fact that he's going out there and playing this well is remarkable i just i gotta give it up to the guy